Happy Mother's Day, everybody. It is Sunday morning, May 8th, 11, 18 a.m. Mother's Day here in the United States. We are obviously starting our day on a walk because, you know, we still have Lily. So until tomorrow night, I got my Mother's Day phone calls from all the kids. So that was nice. I still have to call my dad, check on him. Bob called his mom all the things. I got a Mother's Day post put up for the patrons and supporters, which included um, three free images for them as a thank you. So if you would like to participate in things like that, join my Patreon. And what else? I got laundry done, dishes done, you know, all the standard things. It may be Mother's Day, but shit's still got to get done. We might go out for lunch. We'll see how busy the restaurants are. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna go get some steps in and I'll be back. It's 3.41 p.m. Monday, May 9th. I don't think I've vlogged yet today. Well, I got wrapped up in computer stuff upstairs, working on the secret project and um, the weekly posts that went live today and also the ones that are gonna be scheduled, editing the vlog, all those things. I made some more spheres. I don't know. Uh, is it just me or is this one reminiscent of a sea anemone? Is it just me? Anyway, I've made six of them now. I don't know where I'm going with that. My therapist, my counselor, therapist, whatever. She's asked me that. I have no idea. I just know I need to make them. I don't know. I'm going to get some. I only have three of them, but I want to go get some. Um, small artificial butterflies, little tiny ones, and I want to cover one with butterflies, right? I don't know. Anyway, we still have Lily, but she goes home tonight, and we're going to, I think Bob's got a break at 5 o'clock, and we're going to take her on a WALK, and then he's got a meeting at 7 from between like 7 to 8, and then uh, Rebecca gets home. I think her flight lands at 10.15, and one of us will go get her. The other one will probably stay home with the dog. I'm hoping he's the one that does driving. Anyway, I haven't done my sketching yet because, yeah, just been behind, but I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna take this to the trash, my favorite brand of coffee for those that don't know. Uh, and I'm gonna go check the mail. It might be here, maybe, I don't know. So we'll see. And then I have sketching to do. I have a YouTube video I want to listen to while I do some drawing. So let's get to it, shall we? I'll hey be everybody. back. everybody. It's 1047 a.m. Tuesday, May 10th, I think. Is it the 10th? Uh, yes. Hey. Um, so yeah, I got the dishes done. I got laundry working. I need to switch the dryer out. Uh, Hazel, our friendly neighborhood robot vacuum, has cleaned the floors downstairs. Um, uh, shower doors and the master shower aren't closing all the way, so we noticed today that there's a little bit of dampness around the baseboards near the shower. So Bob is going, we're going to stop using it for a couple of days. Bob's going to do a couple of DIY fixes on it. We've been down this routine before with leaky showers at the old house. Anyway. He knows what to do to fix it, and we'll recock a few things. And um, I ordered a couple parts that should be in tomorrow. Anyway, uh, we do have another shower up here, so we'll use that one. Um, I do think tomorrow when I go out to run errands, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of more small butterflies. I might do all monarchs rather than these multicolored ones, but I think I'm going to cover another one of these spheres with butterflies. Why, I don't know. I've got four. I've got four left. I don't know. Um, right now, I think it's time to... I was watching a YouTube channel this morning. I will link her video below. I do like to watch her channel. Um, she cleaned off her desk. <laughs> it was very inspiring. She bought some new pieces to do that with. I'm not going to do that. I have a closet full of bins and things. I really don't need to do that. So, but I do think I'm going to clear off the desk. We're going to reorganize and clean some stuff. I have a habit of, like she was saying, like right here, you just stick papers in there 
And you just, you know, it just lives there then forever and you forget what's over there. Yeah. All right, so I think we're gonna clear off the desk. I also printed out a picture of my great nephew Paxton. He had his preschool picture. So I'm gonna stick that on the fridge. Yeah, so cool. Anyway, um, I need a picture of his brother Beckett too. Uh, otherwise, I think it's gonna be a chill day. Bob has his dentist appointment this afternoon. Otherwise, I would probably go out and run some errands today, but I don't wanna take a chance that I won't be home with the car when he needs it. We are, we do have three cars, but we're only really driving one. So anyway, <laughs> it's a thing, I know. All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna make some bone broth and clear off my desk and we're gonna work on that and I'll be back.
legs better, cleaner, neater, more organized. Hopefully I can still find things. <laughs> we'll see. I did get rid of a few things. And then when I was putting things away that were misplaced that should have been downstairs that were up and stuff like that, I found some things downstairs to get rid of. Because, you know, one thing leads to another, right? Anyway, I'm going to sit and drink my bone broth now. Watch a little YouTube. I need to stitch these closed because they're still open. And we will take it from there. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, I think we are on a roll here. I, You can see I labeled everything so I don't forget where I've put things away. But I think maybe I should do this drawer. There's actually more stuff under the blood pressure cuff. Let's just, I think I need to clean this out. Yeah, okay, hang on. before shot look like? Now it looks like that. I can actually find everything that's in here. Nothing is piled on top of each other. Yay! <laughs> All right. I also found some pictures of our daughter from high school. And are you ready? <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. I think this is a micro cassette from our old answering machine at the old house. And if I'm not mistaken, this has a, the original recording of my daughter um, saying when she's like three, we can't come to the phone right now, leave a message and we'll call you back. Like, I think that's what that, yeah. Anyway, I'll embarrass the crap out of her if she watches this, which she probably won't. And I'll play the original voice recording for you right here. Well, a copy of the recording right here. We can't answer the phone right now, but if you can leave a message, I'll call you back. Bye. Bye. Pretty cute, right? All right. I also um, found, hold on, I'll put some stuff down, pile of things I need to take downstairs. I also found, how many of you old school crafters and organizers are out there who had one of these from Tupperware? From back in the day, I think I used to have two of them, and I don't know where, they're, where the other one went, but I only have the one now. Thankfully, it's the blue, because I do think the other one was orange. It has this tray in it. It's a pretty cool little box. It was in there in the desk drawer. I was using it as a drawer divider, probably because I didn't have anything else. I do still have the lid. It's not cracked. It's actually in great condition. I don't know what I'm going to do with it at the moment, but I'm definitely not getting rid of it. It's going in the hoard of organizing bins. Yeah, hoard. In case you haven't seen that, there's a quick shot. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sit now and drink my bone broth. I do think it's probably lunchtime or close. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's lunchtime. So I'm going to sit and do that. I'm very pleased with the way the desk is looking, look at all that free space. Everything's labeled and put away. There's not too much clutter. It's, yeah, it's great. All right, that's it for the minute. Morning. It's about 10, 18-ish a.m. Wednesday, May 11th. Um, we also, we thought had a week in a master shower door, so we're using the upstairs shower for a couple of days. I think, I don't know at this, Point of filming if I've said that yet or not. Um, I have a couple of things coming in the mail today like corner guards. Um, we're going to install and we're going to recalk and everything. We're going out of town for the weekend so we're going to do all that before we leave and it should be good and dry when we get back but I think I fixed the initial leak um, and my husband thinks so too. I figured out I think this morning what's wrong with it so I went ahead and fixed it while he was in his meeting so 
he came down and looked at it afterwards and he said, good job. I think, I do think that was what was wrong. So. Okay, so our internet's out again. It's on and off all day today. Poor Bob's got meetings with India and I don't know where else today. He's gonna have to use his hotspot on his phone and make sure it's charged. Don't know what's wrong. It's not just us, it's the neighborhood, I guess. And I can't seem to get a human at Xfinity on the phone because, you know, why would that be a thing? So annoying. Oh, and there's all the internet people. I think I see them. Yeah, Good nice. Morning. It is Thursday morning, May 12th. May, what is it? Yeah, May 12th, 9.18 a.m. Um, computer seems to be up and running and I don't, hopefully we're not having internet issues today. Anyway, I am going to catch up on some watercolor sketches in my journal before we head to the beach. I also have printed my June mood board for RC Trio, which I need to cut out, and my tickets for the Frida Kahlo exhibit at the Portland Museum of Art, which I can't wait to go to. We're going to on the 21st. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I will be taking a lot of pictures and some video if I can, of course, you know. But I would suggest you all look it up. It will be my second time seeing it and I can't wait. Anyway, I'm gonna play some video, video, YouTube, and do some sketching, catch up on things, put some stuff away, mm, refill my water glass because I just looked in it, it's almost empty. And all the things, and of course it's raining again outside. Because you know, it's May in Portland and Yeah, and it might be rainy and stormy at the beach, but you know what? We're okay with that. I don't mind a stormy beach, so. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. To go check the mail <clears throat> so yeah I, it's probably not here yet but you never know I might get lucky um, the video clips you just saw were of me making some more daily sketchbooks um, I do make them I like a certain kind of paper and a certain size book I just like to do sketches for one month in the book and then be done put it away start a new one that's how I prefer to work for those anyway I was out and for some reason I just felt like prepping the June journals today so I did. Got no explanation for that and a new watercolor sketchbook because the one I have 
that I'm using now, it's not done yet, but it's getting close. So yeah, anyway, got all that done. Just taking a deep breath now. I'm gonna go check the mail and then I'm gonna sit and play my daily puzzle game. So, I'll hey guys, happy Friday the 13th. I know, right? It's about 10.30 a.m. Anyway, we are headed to the beach for the weekend and we are gonna stop at one of our favorite restaurants on the way over there, Camp 18. And I might have to get a piece of Marion Berry Cobbler, even if I have to take it to go. Cause yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, we are locking up the house and we're gonna hit the road. We'll be back. So I'm not exactly dressed for it because I have very white, that's right, what pristinely white shoes on, but you know. Well, what'd you expect here? They had to get dirty at some point, I guess. What'd you expect? One of these. That's one of our, one of those is our room. And look at the view we're gonna have. This beach. So we were, we are out walking around while they're getting our room ready. And we were just in a store here in Seaside called West of the Moon. They are on 300 North Broadway. I they have a website or something, I'll put it down below. They actually have two other locations. Love the store. If you like tie-dye stuff, handmade artisan stuff from around the world, you're gonna love the store. They were so nice in there. I got the cutest tank top. For those that don't know, I've lost a lot of weight recently, so I had to get rid of a bunch of clothes that literally were falling off. So I've been slowly replacing things. Not too much, because I don't need as much as I had. But anyway, I found a really cute top and it was on clearance. It was only 10 bucks. So yeah, go there. Here's their card. All right, we're gonna see what else we can find. I'll be back.
So I was telling y'all about Camp 18 yesterday, and I know Kathy, you asked me um, about the menu because it looked like an interesting place. So this is the cinnamon roll. Wait, let me look. Um, there it is. Next to my head. It's about the size of your head. This is a regular size cinnamon roll for them. We got one to go. It's going to be breakfast for at least two days because I don't want to gain 50 pounds back. But cinnamon roll. Trust me, it's delicious. But big. Share it with friends. But bonus, it's not raining. So we're gonna go for a little walk and start our day that way. Well, besides painting and things, which I did already. It's nothing like the fresh sea air, I don't think. Decided to drive over to Cannon Beach, which is just a couple miles down the road, and do some more walking around another cute little tent beach town. And let's see what we can see. I'll Why do our vacations always revolve around food? Anyway, so we are in Cannon Beach right now, as I said earlier. And if you want a good cup of coffee, go to Sleepy Monk. There is a shop called Pie Guy, Pie Girl, Pie Guy, and they have really delicious mini pies probably intended to be enough for one but I mean well at the least we'll cut it in half but I wouldn't be surprised if we cut it in quarters because they are delicious but yeah anyway they have a lot of different flavors I'll include what contact info I can down below check them out if you're over here all right I'll be back Hey guys so yes it's sunday morning yes i forgot to close the vlog last night but i would say in my defense it's because i'm kind of on a mini vacation except that i do this quite often so y'all know that anyway <laughs> i'm having a great weekend uh i hope you are having one also and you've had a great week don't forget to check the video description out for relevant links and ways to support the channel and all that stuff and yeah stay safe stay creative stay healthy go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it 
We're having a lot of fun. We're gonna go get some more steps in before we leave. And I'll see you in next week's vlog. Bye guys.